Hi folks, Phil here with Phil's DIY, back again with another video for you. It's going to be replacement of interior lights on my 2021 RAV4 Prime. Um, I've seen a lot of discussion, questions, um, and people doing YouTubes on replacing of these lights. And I've also seen where a few people have complained that the, the new white lights that the LEDs give off were a little too bright. So I was a little concerned about that. But anyway, what I did was I found a very inexpensive set of lights. There were 13 LEDs in this kit. I'm gonna put a link to that particular one on eBay in the description below. Um, but I changed out the, um, the two lights above the visors the two map lights in the middle of the above the main console and the dome light in the middle and then all the way in the back and the trunk section the little light on the side um, that side light as many of you might know is a really dim uh, very it throws off very little light but I put a white one in there but also as you recall and there's a link to that video I did a video on installing the uh, hatch lights into the, uh, the hatch lid so before we get to the video, uh, if you like what I'm doing here, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let's get to it. I am going to now pop off this light console. Um, everything I've read online says that you need to just pry it and pull on it fairly hard pop it which I did but I think I didn't get it deep enough because only the cover came off oh boy this doesn't look good folks <laughs> so I've managed to just pull this cover off and I think the entire assembly is supposed to come out like this yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to come out. Okay. So that's out. But as you can see, I've managed to dislodge this cover, which I have to put back on now. And it looks like... Yeah, that's it. No harm done. Phew, nothing broken. Here are the two light bulbs that need to be replaced. I hope that's getting into the video shot. Yeah, those two are the light bulbs that I'm replacing. I did manage to pull, pull it out without breaking the tabs, so that should pop it back in nicely. There's the bulb. I gotta pull the actual bulb out of this holder just comes out like that what's left is the holder with the uh, connections on it I think this is the replacement it's a little bit bigger than the original uh, but I, oops oh, that's on the floor now I'm gonna get that out okay and then that in so if at first it doesn't work they say to pull it out and just turn it 180 degrees and try again and there it is okay so that's the new LED and that's the old incandescent uh, I, I read online a lot of people complaining that this LED was too bright, but it doesn't look any brighter than this one actually. So I'm hoping it lights up the interior better, otherwise this is a big waste. Okay, let me do this one now. So they're both in. 
and then put it back in. Going in is much easier than coming out. Okay. Next is this guy. And oh, here we go. Oh, I see. There's a tab in here. So once you get the lid open, you got to push the little tab and that releases it then the whole thing comes out. Pull it out of its holder so that it's easier to deal with. Pull out the bulb and pop in a new bulb. If at first it doesn't light, ha, huh, no good. What's up with that? No light. Interesting. It's not happy. Something's wrong. Okay, power off. That light still comes on. This light. Oh, there. Ah, interesting. Did you know this, folks? If the visor is fully up like that, it won't light up. The visor has to be down, kind of like in a using position where you can see yourself, and the light comes on. Wow. Interesting. There we go. Okay. Like so. This goes in like so. Okay. So. There you have that, and on to the other lights. Okay, so that side's in. I will put this in, get it in place. There we go. I think that's in. Okay, that's in now. Okay, that's good. Okay, on to the dome light. Wow, that bulb is hot. I don't have a good angle. Let's get it back out. I need to position myself better. There we go. I think. Ah, okay. That's it. Let's turn it on. Oh. Must be in backwards. Okay. One more time, I gotta turn it on. Check the polarity. Okay. Turn it off. Oh, gosh. This is way too difficult. Okay, I think that's in. This has to actually. Okay. Done. Wow. Okay, final is this one, which I've had out many times, uh, but I do need to pull it from this little holder.
just about it. Okay, so this is one of these. Okay. done. Oh, that's it folks. Well, that's it folks. I finished the uh, installation of all those lights and uh, the toughest one was the dome light. Um, because it's up on the ceiling, um, it was dark inside my garage at the time. I didn't have my reading glasses on, so it was difficult for me to see getting that uh, new lamp you know, placed into that holder. Um, that was the, the most challenging of the, the lamps that I put in. The center main piece that has the two map lights, um, it wasn't as difficult as I've seen some people complain about on uh, different YouTubes. And the only thing that I encountered on that was I accidentally pulled off the, just the black cover piece instead of the entire assembly in the beginning. And you, you saw that in the video, but uh, that didn't cause any damage, uh, nothing broke. So I was able to snap it back together and it worked fine. Um, overall, I'm very happy with my $5 kit of bulbs. I still have several left over after getting finished with this and uh, I've got them in my collection of uh, spare parts for <laughs> my car. The good thing about these LEDs is that they don't use nearly as much um, energy. Um, the incandescent bulbs actually got very hot to the touch and if you touch it right away after it's been on a while you could actually burn yourself. Um, so I'm very happy that I'm, I've got bulbs in there now that don't use hardly any energy, they don't heat up when you use them, um, and everything's good. So I'm very happy with this project. Anyway, um, if you like what I'm doing here with this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.